tonight for Eyewitness News First at 10. I'm Jamie Azule. Earlier tonight, the first of two public hearings took place where the public expressed their thoughts on the proposed solar law in the town of Deerfield. The zoning law will provide rules and regulations for future solar energy systems in Deerfield. Eyewitness News reporter Lauren Brill was at that meeting tonight and joins us now live in the studio. Lauren, tell us more about what was discussed earlier tonight. Well, Jamie, this proposed law put together by the Solar Committee will govern and regulate any additional solar projects in the town as long as they are under 25 megawatts. However, this will not regulate the smaller 5 megawatt clear path project because this company has been issued a special use permit. And this will not regulate the 130 megawatt site proposed by Borelex. This is because the project goes through the state of New York for their permit and application process, which removes local zoning out of the mix. I spoke with the town supervisor and residents at the meeting tonight. Let's take a look at their response. We would hope the larger projects would engage us, want to adhere to the zoning regulations we have and become good neighbors. The public that live in the town of Deerfield are against big solar projects. Um, and I think you saw reactions from the town board tonight as well, is that, you know, we don't want those big industrial projects either. Since the law will not regulate the Borelex project, landowners are still upset. Pete Sheldon has lived in his home for 35 years and says this would decrease the value of his land. And if the project is not stopped, he will move. We've lived there our whole life. What am I going to do? I'm going to sell my house. That's all. I'm not going to live and look out my window and see solar panels all over. Daphne Jones, a new resident, has lived at her property for two years. She tells me the project will completely surround her land. I don't want my kids to grow up surrounded by solar panels when we moved because of the beautiful nature that surrounds our property. So what happens next? Residents will continue to voice their concerns. We cannot let these companies come in because of dollar signs. We can't let this state let it happen. This, this is our home. If we don't fight for it, who's gonna? And what happens next? Is there another opportunity for these residents to voice their concerns? Well, there will be another public forum on August 10th at 6 p.m. in the same place at the Deerfield Firehouse. And there is also talk of a Borelex Town Hall, which will be happening maybe sometime in December. They're still in talks about that, but that's where the process is at so far. Great. Thanks, Lauren. And tonight.